Machine Gun Kelly on his relationship with his late father, I was really inspired by how emotional he was. The emotional side of things I get from my father, the alt rocker shared during a new episode of the Dumb Blonde podcast Machine Gun Kelly is opening up about his past. During an appearance on Bunny Exo's Dumb Blonde podcast on Monday, August 5th, the Forget Me Too musician 34 opened up about his late father and how his emotional side comes from him. In my situation with my father, he was so tormented from some of the most insane s that I can imagine a kid can go through. MGK, whose real name is Colson Baker, told Bunny. The musician slash actor then explained how his father was on trial at nine years old for the murder of his own father. The story that was always told me was that their dad dropped the gun and his head essentially blew off. All happened in the room with my dad at nine years old. So him and my grandmother were tried for the murder. They were both acquitted. MGK explained. He explained that he would get angry with his father because he'd freak out if he heard a loud noise. I would be like, you're supposed to be a man, dude. Why are you acting like this? And it made me hate him, MGK said, as he described his mother's side of the family as stoic. The Bird Box star revealed it was his father who helped him tap into his feelings. The emotional side of things I get from my father, who was very, you know, he wore everything on his sleeve. MGK told the host, 44. His depression was very obvious. His need for love was very obvious. I wish I could have told him before he died that I was really inspired by how emotional he was. I thought that was really cool in hindsight because I am very emotional, as well. He added that it's also probably because his chart is so Pisces. MGK then explained that the release date of his 2019 album Hotel Diablo was also the day his father died, which trips me out. Doctors said my dad won't be here a year from now, and then a year to the date he died, the emo girl artist said. Elsewhere in the podcast, MGK opened up about his struggles with mental health and alcohol abuse, revealing that he is now completely sober from everything. I don't drink anymore. I haven't drank since last August, he said. That was my first time I ever went to rehab. MGK said he previously abused alcohol, marijuana and pills such as hydrocodone, Percocet and Vivance. 